Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do that. Well, what a trip down memory lane. Yeah. Wait, what was the name Thank of that God you showed up. What did that... you think of that special? Fucking Attell is the best. I watched that special. I haven't watched the special on the tube in a long time. Um, I've seen Attell uh, 20 times, 15, 20, somewhere in that range. Maybe I've seen only Norman more than him. Because Norman does more shows per night usually. Uh, whatever. Attell is the best. Um, but you got to see him live. As good as that special was, that's like masturbating versus fucking. Like, they'll both work, but uh, the fucking's better. Quit masturbating, sitting in your room, freaking watching the tube. Go out and see the comedy live. And Attell is the best. Go see him. And he'll be working on newer stuff now. Because now that his thing is out, which I cannot wait to go see him again and see, you know, what he's is he still gonna be dropping the thing about the uh Assyrian, whatever, uh, you know, those sort of uh uh things about himself. Back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Oh, they had theme songs back then. <laughs> you need to open cards! It's Comedians Opening Cards, No Coffee, and I think after this one I can just retire because I have Dave Attell. What's up, buddy? Oh, my God. Hey, thanks for, uh, now this is a random pick of the cards. You right? get the pick, yes. Okay, Any? well. Oh, yeah. Right away, my eye was drawn to the Magnum P.I. How could it not Bubble be? Bubblegum cards. Yes. Right. Because you and remember that show? I love that show. Right. When I was a boy growing up, I wanted to be a private investigator living in Hawaii. Well, sure. I didn't know they had bubblegum. I had no idea. Yeah, I, a lot I of figured people. it would get into his mustache. Yeah, exactly. Well, TC maybe would get it out with his, with his blades of his uh, uh, helicopter. Yes. Now what happened? Oh, whoops. That's not it. So, you get to open them. I open it. Man. Yes. And then okay. we see what's inside because we don't know. Mm. You know? And if there's a suspicious white powder... Please, bum, it might not be the gum. Bum, bum, okay. bum, hey, and there's bum, James Matter. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Enthusiasm. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> there's something that used to be Oh, gum. my God. Look oh, how disgusting. It's terrible. Dave, you have to eat it. I think that's poi. I'm not exactly sure what about it. Oh, no. look at that. Oh, that's a great one. Oh. Look at him. Yeah. Classic. And then what was that guy who we oh, for? Can I borrow the car? Come on. Uh, you remember he yeah, had that problem? Yeah, that's it. Yes. Oh, that's a great one. Man. Wow. They're just close-ups of his... I need to be alone for a minute. Yes, these are definitely... They're just close-ups of his face. Slam shots. Wow. I can't see... Are they all stuck together? <laughs> <laughs> are they all stuck together? Wow, that was... That Look, was you can make a puzzle Agnum. from the back. Agnum EI. Yeah, it's, the, it's, it's like the condom. Oh, oh no. Is you know what my second choice would have been? The Dune. Oh, you want to open those? The original those? Dune. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do that. Well, wow, what a trip down memory lane. Yeah. Wait, what was that, Thank that God car? Thank you showed up. What was that car <laughs> that Magnum drove? Uh, oh. Look at it. It's, it's uh, Paulito. Paulito, everybody. Paulito. Who's head of House of Traites? Oh, you didn't see Dune? No. Come on, look at yourself. You didn't see Dune? <laughs> oh, this is great. Uh, hopefully the... Oh, my, oh God. my God. Look what is all this stuff? <laughs> oh. There's that white powder you wanted. Oh, God. It's terrible here. Okay, it might be asbestos. One? Yeah. Ah, here we go. Wearing a still suit. Mmm. Oh my god, this is the original Dune, not the new one. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ah, the spice. The spice must flow. <laughs> Let's see if there's a, a Harkonnen in here or a Benny Jesuit. You know the movie. I do, yeah. I huh? had no friends. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> wow, dude, that's great. I don't know what this one is. Oh, that's the terrible thing. And you'll sign one for me or something? Sure, man. And whatever I, you want. I assume you don't want these things. Oh, Baron Harkonnen, you <laughs> flying Batman. <laughs> There you go. Oh, thank you so much, dude. Thank so, you, buddy. How was Syracuse? That was your last uh, last weekend? Awesome time. Yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. Thanks Read so the cards. We'll see you later. Thanks so much, Dave. Ah, uh, and um, he opened his pack of cards. I gave it to him. He opened them. Uh, he made fun of them, uh, that they weren't laminated. He... Um, he said, uh, you're, uh, they, they look like they've got your DNA all over them, something like that. Great lines, laughs. Oh, my God. And then... Creme de la creme. I didn't even ask. He goes, uh, you know, when it's warmer, 
next season. So I don't know if that's spring or summer because it was actually just at the crisp of turning into spring. But anyway, he said he would open more cards. Uh, you know, if he goes, yeah, I'll open some more if you want when it's warmer in the spring. Next season. So, ah, I mean, what what more do I want? That's amazing. Um, Lev Fur, I was going to go try to see him in, because um, that show is going to drop Monday. But I, he just was here or in Boston, but I'm a little sick. I wasn't feeling the best. I would have that would have been fun. I bet he would have done it a second time, and I could have dropped two different apps at the same one. But you know, um, shit. Um, shout out Seal Team Six, and um, I mean, I guess I got to make this. You know, meh, trying to just extend the thing to make it over a ten minute mark, uh, which apparently is good. But I don't want to play to all those. Uh, Things like, oh, do shorts. Oh, put it on Instagram this. Put it on Facebooky this. Put it on, eh. Yes, that makes things more watchable, but it's not about numbers. It's about, it's really the thing. And this is an excuse to keep doing the thing. Uh, uh, the fucking, the open micers, oh my God. When they're in the mood and they're having fun, it's fucking... And to get them to, it's just about, if I can get the other comic, <laughs> I'm not a comic. If I can get the comic on the other side of the table to laugh at all, at anything, if it's real, I mean, that's, you know, getting uh, Gillis to just fucking giggle a little bit, you know, after he made the joke about the card having, um, that it was jizz and then I said something stupid quick. Oh, that's a hard card to get. Hard, you know. And then I was like, oh, maybe the pack's been open, already been open, and applying that someone jizzed inside. And he got that instantly, obviously, and chuckled a bit before he moved into his next thing. But that chuckle was real. Ah. Uh. Wait, maybe this was already opened. <laughs> <laughs> and again, uh, somebody sprayed bikes with a hose. I mean, it's funny because one of my first interactions with, uh, with Gillis was watching a tell. Um, I get a pretty decent seat in that club, um, the singles table, but I get a nice angle and the, the comics, if someone's coming in to watch a thing and they're not going to stand or if they bring in extra people, they sit down at these uh, fold-out chairs, which is right in front of me. And one time it was Gillis. And so he came in to watch a tell because... Jesus Christ. And Attell will sometimes do some interaction which with the comic and play off of them and make fun of each other in the audience. And, oh, that's the best. Go see him live. You, you can't even imagine the difference. As good as his... You, because that it's that tension. It's that energy that's in the room that you're not getting watching a taped pre-thing. That's why SNL, as good or bad as it is, is live. There's something about that. So when you're watching that, even though you're still watching it from afar, it's live. There's something. But if you're in that room that's closed in, not in a giant freaking, not in a theater, not in a stadium, not even in a tall ceiling club, just a fucking tight, that New York basement. Ah, I mean, I don't, if, oh my God, the comedy is so good there. How can you not see it? Anyway. Uh, so Gillis is sitting in front of me and, um, one of Gillis's jokes uses the word tactical and Attell used the word tactical, just one word. There's just, I mean, it doesn't matter, but it's not a word you'll hear all the time. So I just said tactical, really low, but enough for Gillis to hear it, but no one else. And Gillis, obviously he noticed that Attell had said tactical because it's not a word you say all the time. And he turned around and like smiled at me, you know, and that was my first interaction with uh, the Gillis. Uh, but why am I talking about him? Because this is fucking Attell's thing. So edit, cut, shop, erase. Oh, I know why. I'm not very aroused right now. Uh, but my name is David Bacon and yes, Everything is better with me, thanks for asking. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, 
everything. Thanks, Thanks so Dave. Much.